Right, doing the conclusion, just thought I'd show you this first off. Quite interesting bit of wall art. It's what's called on the day you were born. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Yeah. So it tells you what was happening on the day you were born. So most popular film, band, singer, song, musical. Most popular trend, mini skirts. So I thought, oh, let me zoom that out a bit so I can see that. In the middle there. Let me zoom a bit further out. That's it. Got the news of the year. United States president, etc. Cost of living. Obviously, it says 1995 because we got this in 1995. How much stuff? Pint of beer, £1.40. It isn't any more. Most beers are sort of 280. So, yeah, quite good that. Another thing somebody's been asking about is my t shirts. They're quite impressed by the t shirts. Don't know why. But got them off the internet. Off Amazon. I'll put the names on and thing but you have what I would class as heraldic symbols on so there an eagle crown as you go down there's a sword just pause this as I turn it round then on the back you have a similar sort of design the silver is is not sequins or anything like that it's like a one of these Iron on transfer things. But somebody was asking, so I thought just give you a quick show. Got another one, so I'll just set that up. Just give me a sec. So this is another design. A cross and shield. That's one of the names of the firm's conflict. So let me pause it again. Then and on the back, same sort of design, a couple of griffins. So yeah, I quite like them. Somebody said, going through my second phase of youthdom is something that a young person would wear. Probably middle age crisis creeping up. <gasps> no, can't be. <laughs> right, let's get back to talking. Right, good morning. It is Saturday the 13th of September and it is coming up 20 to 6. Different t-shirt on, basically shorts, t-shirt, just out of shower. <clears throat> Make myself look a bit clean and respectable for the video audience. Right, conclusions. Talked a lot. Uh, try to be honest, as honest as I can remember. There's been a couple of things that I've forgotten about, so I've had to do postscripts. One, I got the year totally wrong when I was talking about Eric. I thought I met him in 1988. It weren't, it was 1989 because I'd started work at Lab Auto. And uh, when I was talking, I thought that's wrong because I'd only known him for just over a year. But boy, what a year! Could talk about other things, illnesses, how I fractured my kneecap, pot on, gallbladder removed because I've got cold stones. I think that's all my sort of illnesses besides the normal colds and flus and stuff. One thing I haven't touched on is friendship. Um, I've only had one real good friend that lasted 30 years. Um, I had to stop seeing him. Um, he developed onset senile dementia. Basically, got to a situation it was getting me badly, getting me down. Then there were some legal ramifications. The person that were looking after him didn't particularly like me. Didn't like me going around, didn't like the influence I had on him. So basically I was told to stay away. And when I basically turned around and said, no, I'm not, 
she threatened legal action. Went to see a solicitor, got advice, and basically said, since you're not family, you're only a friend, stay away. Because if you don't, you could end up in serious trouble. Could end up basically with a criminal record. If an injunction were put against me and I broke it, could find myself being arrested. 30 years friendship down the drain, but he wouldn't listen to me. I'm a first aider, got a bit of knowledge. My sister who I've talked about used to be a nurse, so she's got a bit of knowledge. My nieces are actually what we call care workers. So they deal a lot with Alzheimer's, dementia patients, won't listen to them. The only person he will listen to is this relative. Well, to deal with a relative, it's relative by marriage, sister-in-law. I'd only listen to her, no medical knowledge, no information. So it's t it is a time to say enough is enough. Could spend a lot longer talking about that, but not going to. So we're on to the conclusion. Remember in my first video, first autobiography, I said it was Mark Twain who said there's two days that you remember. No. It's two days that are important in your life. That's the quote. When I said that, I thought, how many people remember the day they were born? Not many. Two days that are important in your life. The day you're born and the day you find out when you are born. We've talked about when I was born, my childhood. Work, religion, sex and hobbies. So now it's a retrospect. When it comes to why were you born? Why was I born? We know the biological reasons and stuff like that, but is there any significant reason? I think you, what is mainly getting at is the influence you have on people. I'm very friendly with people. There are people that do enjoy my company at work. I've got one great, great friend there, Cindy. And we could spend hours talking. I talk, chat to other people, been out and drinking with them. I had a laugh, joke. But do I have a significant effect on the life? Some I would say yes, because they have asked for advice and I've said, you know, whatever it is. Let's say it's a health reason. I've gone on the internet, we've been first aider, got access to the Red Cross site, gone on, found the information, and gone, <clears throat> get down to the doctors now. In the morning, down to the doctors. So, if you say significant influence, yes, but mainly, I would say no. It's friendship, work friendship. I don't particularly see any of them out of work. A few, I says, this Cindy, I've got a phone number, we text, we chat. So I probably have more influence on her life than Fred Bloggs, who works on the lines. So yeah. I would say the two people I've had influence on is first off, I think I talked about it in work, the guy who fell over and had a heart attack. I was close enough to start CPR, straight, practically straight away, well put him in a recovery position, then started CPR, the paramedic said if I went there he'd be dead. So, I had a major influence on his life. Basically, if I hadn't been there, would he be alive now? Is he alive now? Don't know. Because it's one of these things, take him to hospital, sort him out. Don't, I'm very often here, back from the hospitals. So, if he survived, had influence, let's say he survived long enough to say goodbye to his family. Bad influence on that family. So yeah. The other persons I've had influence on. Eric. 
Yeah. We had a good year together. Well, just over a year. Without me, would he have found somebody? Can't say. But he had an influence on my life. I says, his daughter threw her arms around me and said, thanks very much. It's best my dad's been in eight years when I met her. So yeah. Then there's people like my sister. She went through a rough time at one point and I was there to help her. Sometimes it was financial help, sometimes it was just emotional help. But then again, she's been there when I've needed it. So yeah, I think I have helped people out and stuff like that. But have I been a real influence on the world? Not really. But then again, that's not a bad thing. There's millions of people out there only Joe blogs that keep the world turning and make sandwiches. Those sandwiches feed the workforce. They probably make the cars that people use to go to work to produce something else. Is it a major contribution? No. Yeah. Well, it's a contribution to the world. So, yeah. One thing I've realised during this video vlog though is, I think I said it one, one of the first ones I did, maybe the one before that when I was talking about lazy days or whatever, when I was on about doing this, I mentioned Joe Curses, brilliant blogs, like I said, check them, fantastic. But I said I don't think I've lived an excited life. Doing this I've realised I haven't lived a bad life. I've had la laughs, shed some tears, probably shed some tears way too early, but I've shed tears. I've loved, been loved. So yeah, it hasn't been a bad life. Obviously, It'd be a wonderful life if something like the lottery came up. Be able to retire and travel the world and see some people who have only chatted to on the internet. But yeah, it hasn't been a bad life. And in the end, is that all we can ask for? Like I said in one of the videos, I've... I've known people that have got money and they have been the most miserable, sorry for the language, but they've been the most miserable twats going. And there's people like me and my sister, I won't say we haven't got two eight to get but we're not rich. And we enjoy life. There's nothing we enjoy more than sitting at home and having a meal. Putting some music on, sitting down, chatting, laughing. Sure beats travelling around the world sometimes. When you have to stress of, oh, do we have to catch that plane? Do we have to go there? And stuff like that. Then again, I won't put it down if it was offered. A trip here, there, and everywhere. In there. All I can say is, I've had a good life, I've met some good people. I've chatted to some good people that I've never met, through the internet, stuff like that. I am not going to be a Gandhi, I'm not going to be an Albert Einstein. But then again, I ain't going to be a Hickler or Asputin, or anybody like that. In the end, this is me. An ordinary person, living an ordinary life. 
And to be honest, I quite enjoy it. In the end, I think there's nothing else to say in the autobiographies. So, who knows? Two years' time, I might do an appendix to this. I don't know, depending how it goes. But I will keep in touch. I will carry on doing blogs. Some may be on, well, I promise one for start off on the wine making, but there may be other blogs on things like I've seen something interesting on TV, if something interesting has happened in the world, if I bought anything interesting. When it comes to Christmas, I'll send a ha Merry Christmas message and a Happy New Year message. And an Easter message. And just general chit-chat, catching up in, on the world. But I hope some of this has been interesting. A younger person's view on the world. But then again, I'm not exactly a young person anymore. I'm middle-aged. So I'm not young, but I'm not old. I'm at that funny age, the in-betweeners. But yeah, I have enjoyed doing this. And yes, it just brought back a hell of a lot of memories. So I want to thank you for your time, watching these. Look after yourselves. Look after one of each other, if you've got anybody there. <clears throat> And who knows, one of these days I might meet some of you, be able to have a, a drink and a laugh. And please, leave comments. Leave comments. I, even if it's just found these boring, please leave a comment and let me know. So, to all of you, I'll speak to you soon on some other subject. Bye for now.